if you're watching live, please type in hashtag live. Now, a lot of people watch our replays. If you're watching our replays, just type in hashtag replay just so I know that you're watching. Property guru, George Markowski from Positive Property Solution joins us now. George, good morning to you. How are you, good George? Morning. You've got to hang out with guys like George who know the numbers. Get the real numbers, the facts. Because I can talk to you about cash flow and all those things. George is better that than me. The thing I'm static about George, he is a hardcore teacher. He really wants you to learn. Okay guys, we've got 10 seconds left. Can't wait to show you a great, amazing session tonight. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, hello, Freedom Fighters. How is everyone doing tonight? I'm your host, Christina Markowski, and we've got a special guest on here tonight for tonight's session for you all. This is Julianne. Julianne, welcome. Thank you so much. I appreciate the invitation. So glad to have you here. Now, Julianne is actually one of our lovely members at Positive Property. So yeah. Julianne's on our program, our Black Belt program. And how long have you been a member with us? Uh, this year, just beginning of this year, I joined. Yeah. Okay, so great. Mm. So yeah, about six months or so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Excellent. And um, just introduce yourself, Julianne. Um, tell us, you know, what state you're in and what you do for a living. Yeah, so um, I'm a commercial builder project manager um, and I've been in the building industry 37 years. And I live in Melbourne, Victoria, um, and I'm a single mum with a 15-year-old daughter. So, yeah. Beautiful. Uh, Excellent. Just working um, too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, working hard, being a project manager. Sounds yeah, like you must be yeah. very busy. Um, yeah. And you've also been in the building industry for 37 years. Yeah, yeah. I just, um, it's always been my thing to, I'm very good at organising men. <laughs> <laughs> I think most women are. <laughs> and I'm, uh, I'm really good technically minded with all the materials and very practical so I managed the builder. So Fantastic. previously, for 15 years of my career, I was working at, on the builder side and then I've moved to client side. So I call it the dirty construction and the clean construction. So <laughs> nice. now the builder reports to me. Yeah. So Lovely. Excellent. Mm. Excellent. Just now, just for everyone watching, and... just type in um, hashtag live and let us know if you can hear us okay. Say hello. Um, let us know how you're going. How's your week been? Fantastic. Yeah, definitely. So what we're going to talk about tonight is, I guess, your journey with positive property and what you've done and how we're helping you get into your first investment with us. So I want to go back to the beginning and mm -hmm. ask how you actually found out about us in the first place. Um, it's just on Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. It's a good place to be, Facebook. So yeah, embarrassing, I suppose. Um, <laughs> hey, a lot of people do it. <laughs> yeah, so commercial construction, I'm totally fine. But um, domestic, I'm not all over. Residential, and obviously that's what we specialise in. We specialise yeah. in residential investment properties. Mm. So it's mm. really, you know, bread and butter, your residential properties and your investment properties, basically. Yes. And so what appealed to me with George was he was Australian okay. and that he was in the country and a real person um, and, um, and actually understands Australia as our, because we're different than Europe and America and we can't be compared, I feel. I so, um, and I'd bought an apartment years ago and then I went to settle and um, I actually wasn't working at the time because I was between contracts and so I actually had to on-sell it and lost some money. So oh, no. I was like, apartments, no, I'm not doing anything to do with apartments. And I bought land in my 20s. So I'd tried all these different things, mm -hmm. and um, but still hadn't quite got to the sorting it out and understanding it. And I really liked how with George, he had all the people around him who understand, have all the specialist industries around him, all the consultants. 
Yeah, absolutely. And that's um, part of what we do. We connect you, we facilitate the ability for you to be able to connect with the right experts and have, yeah. you know, the right people at your fingertips. And we call it our circle of safety. So you've been dealing with our circle of safety um, pretty much since day one. And yes. obviously yes. Uh, you've had Charmaine as your lovely coach as well, who's been holding your hand and walking you through the program. Um, yeah. But what I love about your story is the fact that uh, you've done some really interesting things to get together your deposit for your first property and even hearing a bit about your background, how, you know, you've always sort of wanted to invest in property and um, would it be fair to say you've always seen it as a way to make like a passive income for your future? Yeah, absolutely. I believed in it, but I just couldn't seem to grasp the right way of doing it. I didn't understand enough about it and I, um, I tried to... Uh, get people to, you know, to help me and everything. But then I, yeah, had it all come together. And that was great when I came across you guys. And then David helped me work through and refinance everything and set me all up properly because I hadn't had, like, I'd tried the offset and I'd never managed it properly and it wasn't explained to me correctly. And I just, I had struggled. Yeah. And so now I've been set up correctly since the beginning of the year, which has been really made a massive difference. Um, Absolutely. Like Understanding I think, the fundamentals house. as well. And yeah. like you said, you were getting um, the right finance team to even set up and structure things properly. That's Absolutely. what it's all about. Yes, yeah, so important. So and important. we've really got so three key pillars. And this is what we teach all of our members. You know, you need to have strategy, growth and cash flow in your portfolio. And I think that's where you'd struggled in the past, identifying, mm. you know, how you had that apartment. And when what you did try uh, you didn't have those fundamental foundations to really no. keep yourself safe. And rule number one is obviously don't lose money. <laughs> yes, so <Yeah. laughs> so we really want to make sure that we stick to that. And mm. that's the most important thing when you're investing. Uh, make sure that you don't lose any money and mm. make sure that your deposit is secure and you've got the team around you to help you with that. So. Absolutely. Yeah, getting you set up was a priority for us and mm. helping you get to your first win with obviously getting a deposit organized. Uh, and That's I really true. want to dig deep and find out a little bit more about, you know, so you mentioned you tried uh, an apartment in the past. Yes, I, I bought the apartment um, in the city, thinking that it was near the Melbourne Uni, thinking that right. would be the go. Yes. Um and uh, then I, because I contract, I've been contracting for 25 years. Um, sometimes I finish a contract on Friday and start a new one on a Monday. And sometimes there can be a couple of weeks between. So yes. I was between contracts and that was at the stage where I, the banks really didn't understand contracting enough. And that's mm. the other thing with my industry. It's, it's very different. And so yeah. because I didn't fit into the box, I've never fitted into the square box. Well, you're not a typical employee, right? Um, no. So you're basically like the bank would coin you as self-employed almost. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But then I'd go through agencies and then sometimes I'd, I'd actually work for an organisation like at the moment I'm working for a government department. Right. So, and so I have got a job with them for a couple yes. of years. But of then. Course. Before that, I was contracting again. So I just go with the flow, whatever is there, really. Right, I Especially see. Especially being a woman in the building industry, I'm not as popular. <laughs> so that, you know, <laughs> if something happens, boom, I'm the first one out. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah so, wow, that's really yeah. tough. So yeah. um, are you currently classified as a business owner? Are you, like, uh, getting paid as a contractor through your ABN? No, so currently I'm an employee. Of employee, adjustment. which means yeah. the banks see you in a different light altogether and yeah. um, it can be easier, obviously, with certain mm. banks to get your loans through for your investments. Yes, and and then I got a pay rise. That was another thing I managed to get because I've been with them. So that was the 1st of July I got a pay rise, so that was really Congratulations great. Congratulations on the pay rise. A couple more thousand always helps. Absolutely, yeah, so 100%. Now, mm. do you have a um, house that you're living in, like an owner-occupier? Yeah, so behind me is my townhouse. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I bought this um, six years ago, brand new. Beautiful. And um, done a few renovations because there wasn't, uh, 
everything wasn't what I wanted. Yeah, so, um, but one of the big things that I did was uh, there was a tail to tail, I think you'd call it, um, two car parking spots. So um, 11 metres long the uh, garage was and I got, had the garage door at the end removed and I put in, I built a Airbnb there. So wow. um, the room's five metres by 3.9 and so i ran that for two years so that you're actually becoming a housekeeper that is so much work because i yeah. was working full time and then washing sheets and then cleaning the place and booking wow. people in and, and uh, the first year i had um 10 nights not booked and the second year i had 11 nights not booked so wow. i was just so busy um because yeah. i took people for one night because i'm near the yarra valley and right. so people at the weddings that stay or ballooning. It's a bit of like and, a touristy hotspot. So you took yeah. your garage and converted it into a small apartment. Exactly, yeah. Wow. But I didn't put another bathroom in because there's already three bathrooms in the house and three toilets is plenty. I didn't want four. So <laughs> <laughs> there's only so many cl much cleaning I can do. Yes. <laughs> but that um, was another way you could create um, an income coming in, essentially. Yes. So initially, um, so that cost 17000 to build and then I paid that off with the Airbnb scenario and then now, um, and then I've been renting it. I had it, I, COVID, it was empty for about six months and then I had a renter there for about um, a year and a bit and now I've got it and then I've put the rent up <laughs> and I've got a new renter in there and so I'm getting 300 a week. Fantastic. That. So that That's includes great. bills. And they get the internet as well because it's just easy. So it's quite a bonus for the. I've got a young guy here who's a mechanic and he loves it because he doesn't have any bills. You know, it's just easy. Yeah, yeah. nice. And yeah, so that's working out really well. So you converted um, the Airbnb into long term rental now? Yes, yeah. I just sold everything that was in it and just, mm -hmm. and I rented empty except for the wardrobe and stuff, you know. Yeah. And they've got their own courtyard out the back and their sliding doors and um, a, an outdoor area as well. So it's really quite nice. Yeah. How and much did it cost you system. to convert your garage into uh, an apartment? Like what did you do? Did you put like new floors down? Did you like paint the walls? What sort so, of like renovation um, device did you do? Obviously because I'm in the building and it's very simple. <laughs> so I got a split system put in. So they've got their own heating and cooling. Okay. And I put a stud wall in with a door and then I put in acoustic thermal underlay because it's on a concrete slab so you don't get a chill through uh, and then yeah. and then wool carpet and um, a sliding door at the end and then a block out blind and then new lighting um, and I already had for the Airbnb so I've got lots of powerpoints but all my powerpoints have USB outlets mm -hmm. so because I, I was trying to be quite a little bit high end with the USBs um, <laughs> So there's, you know, and some shelves are in there and towel rails and, you know, hooks. And oh, lovely. Like yes. Yeah, so How much was the fit out altogether? It's cost me 17000 17000 Wow. Yeah. 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 So, so you put a bit of money in, but now you're obviously reaping the rewards of that. Yeah, it's neutral. Yeah. And it's now sort of you've um, just sort of broken even and, and you'll start to get ahead cash flow wise from that rental income every week that's coming in. Yes, yes, and I've been able to put it up, so that's been really nice because it was yeah. two eighty five earlier in the year, and now it's three hundred. Beautiful, beautiful, so, excellent. Yeah, and that's brilliant. And that person then has their own space, so they've got a bit of a lounge room area, and they've got their bedroom, so they can chill out there or have friends, and they've got their own access as well. So, oh, lovely. yeah, so they can come around the house or they can come into the house, whatever they choose. Yeah. Beautiful. And, and what are you doing with that rental income? Are you saving that up to put towards a deposit for an investment property? I have been putting that into my offset account. Correct. Awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So we're using yeah. the system now. So with our yeah. strategy, for those of you who don't know, um, part of it is obviously getting your foundations right and setting you up so that you've got your cash flow, your strategy and your growth. So obviously, Julianne, you've done really well in adding more cash flow to everything weekly to your overall situation. But now what we're talking about is the strategy and how you're using those dollars to your benefit. So you're putting those in an offset account that's connected to the home you live in 
which is That's essentially right. going to lower your mortgage every month. That's right. So, um, and then I've just been building on that. Uh, so then the, the next thing I did was I um, found out that you can get your car wrapped um, with advertising. Now, this is interesting. I'm really fascinated to find out how did you even come up with this idea because it's <laughs> it's such a outside-of-the-box thinking when you're thinking about extra ways you can make money and get a deposit together for an investment property. Um, wrapping your car is just something that I would have never even thought of. Yeah, I just I found it online just stuffing around playing on my phone. <laughs> So, <laughs> that's so, amazing um yeah so what that is uh is you ha you need your car has to be only um two to three years old and right. they wanted something which is preferably like a hatchback or um uh, which i've got an outlander which i bought during covid so mm -hmm. it's got a rear door and so on and you the thing is there's obviously a criteria and you need to uh, drive 250 kilometres a week. So right. I drive between 350 and 400 kilometres a week. So um, I fulfilled the criteria. So, so when I started with them, um, it was I was getting 150 a month. So you're getting right. $150 a month, and mm -hmm. you've got these basically these stickers on your car. And I yep. was, and it has to be in the area that they want to advertise that's the other thing and um so initially i took this one which was um for an aged care place and my daughter hated it because it had this old guy on the side of it and she goes, <laughs> that no, is so funny she can't pick me up in the old car old man's car like because there was this old man you know and advertising this aged care place but i'm like you just keep my daughter, daughter's name's Kiri. I'm like, you just like it doesn't matter. It's only for three months, you know, because they do it did a three month campaign. Mm -hmm. So I get 150 bucks for three um, each month, mm -hmm. and then they decided to extend it another month. So then I got another 150 dollars. So and it's literally a sticker. I, I mean, they you've got to allow 15 minutes for it to be put on. I reckon it took five. It, mm -hmm. They're so fast. They just put it on. You've got to turn up with your car clean. Mm -hmm. And um, you have an app on your phone, and the app just um, so you have to pass a, the first week. You have to do um, before you actually get the wrapping. You need to pass that you're a good driver. Uh huh. So, so you have there is a bit of a criteria there is, as well yeah. when you're driving. Yeah. You can't have, you know be going through red lights, speeding. No. Yeah, so you actually that's not a good look for their company if you're getting speeding fines. T totally yes or yes. cutting off people <laughs> lots of breaking they don't like lots of breaking understandable <laughs> yeah so once you pass the week then they offer you a program in that area so mm -hmm. i got the old man the aged care place stuff off the car and then they changed their system and decided that they would offer more money which was great because people weren't turning up to appointments so if you turned up for the wrapping of your car um, on time with the car clean, they'd give you $50. Oh, awesome. So the first time that I got, yeah, $200, it was fine. I was like, okay, cool. So I did that. And um, then again, the same thing with this one that I've got now, it's advertising kind of like an Uber car system, which my daughter's not embarrassed about. And okay. <laughs> and I, I can load some photos up um, and show people what it looks like, but it's not too bad. It's okay. She can see me when I come to school to pick her up, you know, yeah. no issue. Absolutely. Um, and that's all cash flow that's being put into your offset account that yes. you are compiling that's mm. going to lower your mortgage repayments and also then you're going to take that deposit and leverage that and mm. use it to buy another investment property with. And I want to move on shortly and talk about the investment that you're going to use this um, cash essentially, this pile of cash for. Before I talk about that, I want to ask, with your owner occupy the house that you're living in, did that have any equity that you could use towards your first deposit for your investment? So what David recommended was I did have a couple of, um, I had a, a loan, I'd bought timeshare years ago and I still was paying that off. I'd have, I've had it for 10 years. Um, and so he recommended to pay that off. So we took money out of the house. Ah, uh, so you used your equity to pay off your bad debt, essentially. Yes, 
Yes. Right, because you had that timeshare which was bad debt, so the banks exactly. wouldn't like that and they won't give you right. another loan for an investment yes. property if you don't cut that debt off first and so get rid of that. We got rid of that. Right. And then since I've joined uh, Positive Property, I've actually uh, as well cleared my credit cards. And Congratulations. Closed them. <laughs> so <laughs> I've, got, I've got one left and that's the one I use now and I clear every month. And you use to pay your bills and it dips into your offset account, right, and then pays off bills. Yes. And yes, it, it goes like that. And that's okay. You can have the one credit card to do that with, but you shouldn't yeah. have any more credit cards that, you know, you use for luxury items or anything like that because then yeah. the bank will see that as bad debt and that will stop you from getting any future investments. So I had to clear that this the earlier part of the year because I had a $10,000 credit card. Yes, yeah, so. So you've done all of that. So you've really yeah. come a long way. You've made a lot of progress on the program by the sounds Oh, yeah. Of no, look, I, I got to, yeah, so I had to clear all these other little bits and pieces around the place. You know? Absolutely. So and that's all about getting market ready. And it can be a bit of a process sometimes. And it can take a few months to sort out your finances and get all your ducks in a row because mm. you want to lay a really strong foundation whenever you're investing in property. You can't just jump in and apply for the loan because if you get rejected, that could stop you from getting a property for two or three years because the bank really? are going, well, no, we know your finances. We know you're not viable to get an investment. So I'm right. really glad that you took your time and you, you put in the effort and you went the extra mile, literally, in your car with it wrapped <laughs> to get yep. your cash flow. You know, you converted the um, garage in your apartment yep. into yep. making more cash and you've obviously used the equity uh, to mm. pay off your bad debt, to pay your credit card, to pay the timeshare out. Um, mm. So you're basically now what we call a clean slate, but you're mm. further ahead than a clean slate because now you've actually got money that's accumulated in your savings account. and. I believe um, you just signed up for your first investment property. Was it yeah. two weeks this ago? Week. This oh, week. this week. Oh, wow. <laughs> <This week. laughs> well, we definitely need to go out for a celebratory uh, drink on the yeah. weekend to celebrate yeah, only that. Yeah, on Monday. It's <laughs> <laughs> all been happening. Yeah. Fantastic. And what I'd like to do is uh, just share your cash flow calculator so we can take a look at the numbers on your first investment property here. So... We don't exactly know the interest rate, but I'm guessing it's probably going to be anywhere between maybe 4.5% to 5% uh, because it is an investment which will be on an interest-only loan. Yes. Uh, now, because the banks are seeing you as an employee rather than mm. a business owner, it should be under 5% based on, right. you know, what I know, how they're doing the interest rates for business owners versus employees at the moment. Mm -hmm. Now, with your pay rise, you're now in the 39% tax bracket. Mm. So we've added that into your cash flow calculator. The purchase price is 464000 and you're doing a 10% deposit. That's correct, So that yes. is going to be 46400 mm -hmm. So we've put in all the variables. We've put in your stamp duty, uh, legal costs, building inspection, landlord's insurance, rates and water, body corporate, and your depreciation because we're buying a brand new property here. So you're yeah, going to be able to so get good. your depreciation back. So you're going to get uh, $11,302 in your first year. Uh, so all said and done, you're actually cash flow positive on your first investment property. You're going to be making just under $26 a week, $25.96. So you're positive. Woohoo. Which is what we want. That's all I want. I want it positive. <laughs> you're making money from day one, which is great. And this gives yep. you your yearly return. Mm. So that's pretty amazing uh, so what good. you've achieved in under six months of being on our program. And the next thing is that the the property is due to be completed in April, and even if that's later than that, it still will be okay, because because yeah. um, uh, after George was talking about that last week, now I understand that it's actually still positive. That yeah, it's still okay. <laughs> I mean, sorry, you know, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yep, and yep. It, and you can save up more money to put into your deposit as well, and. Um, before you settle, you might even have enough to do maybe a 15% deposit rather than a 10% deposit. 
which yeah, means yeah. that property will be even more cash flow positive. Mm. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, so, so that's really good. That's pretty amazing what you've done, Julianne. I'm super proud Thank of you, you and Thank what you. you've done. It's really inspiring to hear. I mean, a uh, single mother who's, you know, you're working hard, you're doing everything you can, you're thinking outside the box, you're being creative, and you're figuring out how to create a passive income and set yourself up and your family up for the rest of your yeah. life through property. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's you know, we've got to give to everything. I feel that there's always, I've always felt there's more to life that I just um, have always been interested that there has to be a way to make it easier. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's about getting the knowledge and also connecting with the right people to make mm -hmm. that happen. And that's exactly yeah. what we're all about here at Positive Property. So thank you so much for coming that's on okay. tonight's session. Thank and you. thank you for sharing your story. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks a lot. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Julianne. See you later, guys. We're going to head over to our private Sherp now where we're going to go through a bit more information. But uh, we'll see you all next week. See you later. Bye-bye.